Hi there, and welcome back. My name is Gardner. I've been running a YouTube channel called Gardner Bryant for the last seven years. In that time, I've made a career out of video editing, and I wanted to share some of the tips and tricks that I've learned with you. In this video, we're going to talk about the basic tools of video editing, cutting, organizing, and finding your rhythm. The first thing that you should know is that in this video, everything we're talking about is more uh, related to the craft of video editing than it is the actual software that you use. If you have a good understanding of the techniques that I'm talking about in this video, then it doesn't matter what software you use. In all honesty, you could edit a Hollywood movie using Caden Live, or you could make some of the uh, worst content that you could imagine using the quote unquote professional stuff. First, let's talk about cuts. There are various types of cuts, and the, the one that you end up using is going to be situational to the story that you're trying to tell. Uh, it's going to be up to your better judgment and experience to decide which cuts belong where. First up, let's talk about the straight cut. The straight cut just goes from one piece of footage to another. You can go from a talking head segment to a reenactment. You can hop from one scene to another. This is the most basic kind of cut. Next up, we have the J-cut. The J cut uses the audio from the next scene to signal that a cut is about to happen. You've seen this kind of cut many, many times. The J cut provides a bit of motivation for cuts. I like to use this kind of cut a lot where I'll start talking in a sentence uh, while B-roll is being shown on screen, and then I'll cut to myself actually talking to the camera mid-sentence. Next up, we have the L cut. This is when the video cuts to another scene just before the audio follows suit. L cuts are the opposite of J cuts. Next up, we have the jump cut, which is not to be confused with the J cut. The jump cut removes parts of a single clip. This can be useful to show the passage of time. And this is also a, a quite ubiquitous technique on YouTube. Something like this is a jump cut. The action cut or motivated cut. A motivated cut uses action or movement in the scene to transition between two clips. This is a great way to convey rhythm and keep the viewer's eye engaged. So those are the most common types of cuts that you're going to use in your video editing career. Each one of them has its own kind of unique feel to it and can be used in any number of ways to effectively convey meaning and story. Now that we have those concepts under our belt, let's actually take a moment and uh, explore how we could use them in a single narrative. All right, so we have this footage here. We're gonna copy that in. And uh, we're gonna actually switch to the correct profile here. So essentially what we wanna do is find the best version of these clips. And we can scrub through here. And you can hear the audio quality is pretty bad. So we want to come in when I'm uh, just off screen here. So we'll put an in point by hitting I. We're going to play through. Okay. So then what we can do is hit comma and we'll put that right in our timeline. And that's going to be the basis for this uh, conversation that we're going to do here. Um, now we're going to go through this footage and uh... <laughs> so, okay, that's a pretty good take right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark that. <laughs> so we'll mark that here. I like that take. We'll, we'll go through and do a couple more here. Um, you can actually, you can add markers using M as well. I am your father. <laughs> so, that's not bad. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's put a marker in here. And you can see when we hit M, we're adding markers up here. And that's just a, a way that we can keep track of our favorites. Um, sometimes I, I don't think you can do it up here, but down in in the timeline when you add a marker, you can actually give it a label. I am your father. I am your father. It's all the same. Um, okay, we'll, we'll go back in post, and we're actually going to add audio. 
Um, I actually have a close up of me um, saying, Luke, I am your father, and all that stuff. Luke, did we get the dishes done? So, let's go ahead and drop this in here. And basically, what we're trying to do is just find the scene, right? So, what we want to do here, we're going to cut this and we're just going to mute this track here. So we're going to disable that, right? You know what? This will be easier if I actually have my, uh, the audio I recorded for that. Okay. So here's my phone and I'm just going to copy this over. And the nice thing about this Libra 14 is that, uh, it has multiple USB type C ports. So I can just copy this stuff over real fast. And this is just kind of showing you, um, that you really don't need to be super fancy with anything that you're doing here. Um, you can hear like the difference between the audio. Luke, did we get the dishes done? Luke, did we get the dishes done? It's the same take, you know? So what we can do here is let's extend this back out and we can just delete that for now. And we're going to synchronize these. Now there's an automated way to synchronize the tracks, but I find it's just simple and easy and straightforward to just do it by hand. And you can just kind of eyeball the, um, these, um, the waveforms here. And, and that looks like it should be good. And you can hear the difference. Luke, did we get the dishes done? Luke, did we get the dishes done? There you go. So we just, uh, can group those together. And then, uh, we actually, I think the rest of that is just junk. So we don't need that. Well, maybe I did do close-ups, but anyway, let's go ahead and cut that like so and you know what we don't actually need the scratch audio so we can remove that and group them back together here all right let's go down back here let's pop this back into place so here we go this is going to be an example of a j cut um and you can tell it's a j cut because the video clip is like the stock of the j and then the audio is like the 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 tail of the J. So we make a nice little J shape and that's what they call a J cut. So we don't have any audio here, but we'll fill that in later. Did we get the dishes done? Do you see that? And we can actually play with the timing a little bit. And uh, we can actually, we don't need any of this. We can stretch this out instead. Now there's a little bit of mouth mouth flap here. You can see where like the Luke in the audio track here doesn't quite match up there. So let's just move that back a little bit so that the, the peak of the Luke is in the same spot. And he's ignoring me. So we cut back to him ignoring me. And uh, we're, we'll, in post-production, we'll actually add some uh, sound effects here of him playing a video game. You can't really see it in frame, um, but he is playing uh, Metroid Dread at that point, actually. Um, I know you can hear me. So let's go ahead and remove this. And I don't think we even need that we can just drop this in here. I know you can hear me. Now again, that doesn't quite perfectly line up, but we can fudge it by just changing the volume a little bit. I know you can hear me. And again, we can do the same thing here. I just realized we might not be recording the audio of the computer. That's fun. <laughs> all right just a little star wars reference for all my star wars loving friends out there now i don't remember if i said so we want to do an l cut here so what we want what we're going to do is we're going to remove this audio track because we don't need it we've already got these paired up and we can actually 
I don't really know if we're going to be able to do an L cut, actually. Oh, yeah, we can. We'll cut to me. And then... And his name is actually Luke, too. So then we'll, uh, we'll cut to him. So we don't need any of this anymore. We can delete that. Let's we'll go ahead and cut to Luke. And we see that we have the actual, uh, our favorite moments here with these clips here. So this is one of my favorites. I am your father. <laughs> and I like that. That's pretty funny. So he reacts to me saying, I am your father. And we'll actually, we don't need any of this audio here because we already have the audio that I recorded on my phone. So we'll just drag this over here and you can see that he's going to react to me saying that. And this is what the whole thing looks like. Actually, let's pause, let's commute that. <laughs> and this would be an L cut right here. So you have, you know, the, the, the L, the stock of the L here. Let's reorganize this a little bit. So you have uh, the stock of the L here, and then the audio goes to the right. So the stock and the tail makes a little, a little L shape. Um, and that's, uh, that's how we do editing. I mean, it, finding your rhythm is about like, searching through the all of your available clips and just kind of watching it back over and over again and getting a feel how to make it play humorous or how to make it play dramatic or how to make it play however you intend it to feel. Um, now, there are a few minor things that I'm going to do here, like I'm going to um, extend that out because that clip kind of cut. Actually, let's undo that and just watch. Can we get the dishes done? And it cuts really cuts back really quickly. So what we can do is actually kind of emphasize the silence by staying on me and then cutting back to him ignoring me, right? So let's try that again. And again, that cuts a little too quick. So we'll probably extend this back actually. And we might want to play this a little bit more going back like this. So we'll actually get, we'll cut to him as I'm saying, I am your father. The other thing is we don't have to play exactly to where I say Luke in the original clip. We can actually move this around. So because I, I was feeling like there just wasn't enough time here to emphasize that he was ignoring me. So let's do this. And whoops, let's also drag that out. And we'll do a little emphasis here as well. We can bring that back slightly. I am your father. And it's literally just watching it back uh, over and over again and trying to find where it plays right. Yeah, that feels pretty good to me. Everyone's going to have their own uh, editing and pace when it comes to video editing. And the more developed and skilled you become, the more strongest sense you'll have of your editing rhythm. Now, for me, editing is actually a feeling. Uh, I, when I'm editing, when I'm working, um, I can just feel uh, when a cut needs to happen. Um, that's a sense that I have developed over a very long time. If you go back to some of my earliest YouTube videos, you'll see that uh, 
uh, they don't really compare to the most recent videos that I have on my channel. Like I said, video editing is as much an art as it is a science. And the more you edit and the more you practice, the better developed your skills will become. Well, that's everything that I wanted to cover in this video. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you like these videos, maybe hit subscribe and maybe hit that like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.